I can do that. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review of Gran Turismo. Directed by Neil Blomkamp and starring Orlando Bloom, Archie Madekwi and David Harbour. This tells the story of Jan Mardenbre who goes to GT Academy in hopes of becoming a professional racer. Going into this movie and just a little bit of a disclaimer, I don't follow Formula 1, I don't follow race cars, I don't really play racing games. I've maybe played the odd GTA game in the past, but that's kind of about it. So I don't really have a lot of knowledge in this, but I was definitely interested because Neil Blomkamp is a director that I like. He's delivered great movies for me, such as like District 9 and also Chappie. I know a lot of people are dividing that, but I still really enjoy that movie. So going into this one, I was just expecting a good time but just before we carry on a little bit further into today's review i would like to say a huge thank you to all my awesome patreons who helped to really support the channel if you're interested in joining patreon and if you're interested in buying some merch or checking out my debut book there is a link down below in the description box you can click where you can find all that good stuff thanks for listening really appreciate it. now let's get on to the review i'm going to keep this one short and sweet guys this movie is okay I can't say that I hated this movie, but I also can't say that I loved this movie. And I think for me, personally, this kind of felt like a little bit of a step down in Neil Blomkamp's work. Because I feel like as if, because this is based on a true story of Jan Mardenbre. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure how much of it is actually true. I know Jan was actually a part of this movie in the background, also like a stunt uh, double as well in the stunt team and you know of course borrowed stories in his own personal life to be portrayed on screen so i can't say you know this is 100 percent factual to the actual true story i don't believe it is but i just feel as if neil blomkamp was kind of held back with his kind of really creative visions here and kind of stuck to a sony property who is just like wants it their vision and that is their vision and that's what they want so i feel as if this movie was okay now in terms of the parts i did like i will say that some of the racing here is it's good you know it was well made cinematography is nice for most part when it's not kind of just shaking or like cut cut sequence after another which we'll get into but the other part of the cinematography was nice this in dolby sounded great the speakers were just felt like as if they were about to blow off when the cars were like zooming past like one another it it was great it actually kind of made me like feel there a little bit more and in this environment which is definitely a big pro also i will say that my favorite performance here is david harbour by far who plays jack salter i think he is the best element here i don't think it's anything where it's you know david harbour's best work he's ever done in his career He's definitely done better performances, but he's definitely the one who is holding this whole movie together. At least he's likeable, he's relatable, he's saying to all these races, these sim races right at the beginning, you aren't going to make it, you're not meant to be here. Whereas, you know, usually you get someone who does like, like a cheesy prep talk kind of thing, you know. No, it was just flat out, just kind of honest from the get-go. And I can really, really respect that. The music at times here, I felt worked okay. Sometimes they felt as if they were just having like some kind of cool, well-known songs for the sake of having a cool, well-known song. This is where it comes in to my issues with the movie. I feel as if this movie would have been better if it released 10, heck, maybe even 20 years ago as, a, you know, kind of like a action movie the sports racing movie whatever the genre in this one kind of categorically wants to define itself as because i feel as if in this day and age we've had sport movies we've had racing movies for me the best car movie is le mans 66 this has nothing on that movie it really really doesn't like the racing sequences uh, before i mentioned that they were good and they are but there's so much the case where it's like a shot of the driver, cut to the outside, shot of the driver, cut to the outside, and that is just 
absolutely constant in every single race that it decides to depict and i feel as if that is a big miss opportunity because it's just so much cutting chopping and editing constantly where it is a little bit jarring it is a little bit giving you a headache and it is a little bit just full on i felt as if it was just kind of like you know by the numbers right let's start here okay let's have a little bit of a dramatic part here okay let's finish it off here and that is exactly what this movie is by the end of it you can maybe say look this is an average movie and i would definitely say that's what it is i can't say i'm going to rewatch this one i can't say i'm going to buy it on physical media because i'm going to be honest with you i'm probably not going to so my overall score for gran turismo is a 2.5 out of five stars have you seen gran turismo are you going to check it out leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there if you enjoyed the review give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below and until the next time i see you i'll be seeing you later mm -hmm.